Hey guys, this is Funk Boy. I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on two different sounds. Um, I gotta be pretty quiet because it's um, 3 a.m. and fucking everybody's asleep. So, yeah, there's that. So, uh, it's going to take a little while for the project to load, I think. I mean, it usually does, and I'm running the fucking screen recorder while trying to open the four gigabyte song, so, um, yeah. It's probably going to take a while, and it might end up crashing. There we go. Alright, just a moment. Ah, oh, Jesus, this thing again. Oh, it's not that. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, never mind. Alright, I'm going to be showing you how to make two different bases today. I'll be showing you how to make this thing that I've labeled MDB1 and this thing that I've labeled the end. Alright, let's see if I can... Alright, I'm gonna skip ahead. showing you that, and I'll be showing you this. Alright, so first let's start off with, I don't know what MDB1 stood for, but it stood for something. Let's start off with that. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find a Foreman Square Oscillator. Turn an oscillator, you're gonna turn a LFO 5 into a performer, and you're just gonna slide this down so it's the first two that are actually doing anything. You've got a load curve, you can take one of these, put it up there on the first one, and one of these, and put it up there on the second one. And you're done with the performer. So you're gonna take performer 5 and put it on the wavetable position up to, I don't know, 2 o'clock-ish. And you're going to bring the amp all the way down and put it from the bottom all the way up. Turn the pitch to minus 24. I don't think any of the other oscillators are actually doing anything. Oh, wrong patch. so good guys <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, apparently it needs to be going through the fucking return track for some reason okay okay it's gonna, yours probably isn't gonna have a reverb. Alright. So, then what you're gonna do is you can, if you want to, make your um, third envelope look like this. About, here's the little knobs down here. And, you can take that and put it on the pitch envelope here. 
I don't know why I chose 4.09. That was kind of just what happened to sound good, I believe. Alright, now you're going to go to your modulation oscillator. So you're gonna put your your uh, knob at about a little above eight o'clock, and you're going to put the fifth, the performer for number five, on up to three o'clock, and it's on phase mod, and it's on the first oscillator, and the pitch is minus twelve. Ring mod, I don't think I actually did anything with. Yeah, it doesn't look like I did. Alright. On to the filters. Filter 1 is band eject. And the cutoff is from a little above 7 o'clock to about 10 o'clock with the performer 5. And the bandwidth is from a little bit above 3 o'clock to about 10 o'clock also the fifth performer. And resonance is, I don't know, about 11 o'clock. So on filter 2, it's going to be a double notch um, cut off from all the way up to all the way down. Resonance at 1 o'clock. And whatever these do, they go all the way up. This stays the same. Make sure that your fourth envelope is cranked all the way up right there. So for the insert one, just look at this here. It's a sine shaper. You can just... Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Sine shaper. Yeah, you can just look at that if you want and copy that. This is a parabolic shaper. You can look at that and copy that. Um, didn't actually put the phaser on dimension expander here with these settings and an EQ. So in the EQ you're gonna put the, keep the low shelf where it is and change the boost from about 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock and just a little tiny bit of boost on the high shelf. supposed to be performer 5. Definitely was. Okay. And that's how that's going to look. Didn't do anything here. And here. Or here. Here. Turn on restart via gate. On oscillator. Oscillator 1 goes to 180 degrees of face. And you can mess with pitch bend as you feel fit. I believe that's all there is to the actual massive patch. You could also, instead of using the performer, you could also use a macro if you wanted, but, you know. So, really, all this compressor is doing is side-chaining. I have Camel Crusher, but I didn't turn it on. All this compressor is doing is side chaining, so that's, you know, kind of irrelevant. So there's that patch right there. Let's see how long I've been recording. Nine minutes. All right, not bad. Okay, so on to this. This one's in Serum. Also, the compressor is just side chaining. Um, 
just kind of saved this wavetable. Actually, I don't know what either of these wavetables are. That's just charming, isn't it? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put this patch up for a download. Yeah, I'm just going to put this patch up for a download so you can just grab it, because I don't know what these fucking wavetables are. So, yeah. I'll put that up for you. Eventually, I will be doing a tutorial on this growl. Eventually I'll be doing that. Why are you not working? why it's making that horrible high-pitched sound. It pisses me off. I'll explain how this is going later. I might do this one. I'm not sure. Um, it's possible that I'll do this one. I don't know yet. There's, and I mean, I'll, at some point I'll definitely do this. I mean, that's pretty useful. Every fucking buddy knows this. I'm just kind of going through all the different sounds I have in this song. These are all the bases I have. Anyway. Yeah, so... There you go. I'll put that up for, the, for download, and I'll put the link to it in the description. Have fun with your patches. <laughs>